About a year ago, I picked up two interesting clamps from Armor to work with the Polk Smart Benches. They're horizontal bench stall clamp that works in the bench dog holes and their inline clamp. Today I'll show you how they work and tell you what I think about them. I'm Ron Polk and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a detailed set of plans to build a smart wood shop for yourself or one of the Polk Smart Benches, there's a link in the description of this video down below where you can go and purchase plans and download them 24-7, 365. These clamps from Armor are a really nice red, except mine are green. I picked mine up from Grizzly. They're made by Armor. They're the exact clamp. They just rebrand them Grizzly and have them painted in the Grizzly color. Armor or Grizzly uh, is not supporting this channel. I picked these up, paid for them with my own money. And so this is just uh, an opportunity for me to tell you about a tool that I've had pretty good luck with. They work with the bench dog holes so I can put them anywhere on the bench that I need to hold something down quickly. And they also rotate 360 degrees. I have a clamping pressure of 25 to 400 pounds. There's a single Phillips screw that you adjust. I've played with it quite a bit and I'm not sure I quite understand how it works. I know you back it out one way and it, it softens it a bit, easier to close the clamp and tighten it the other way, it's harder to push down. Additionally, they, they rate these at 550 pounds of holding capacity. So the clamping force and the holding capacity are just two different ratings. And also they can clamp up to, according to, the, to their ratings, of five and a half inches. So it's, it seems like they'd hold more than that, but maybe that has to do with how much the shaft tips. Now, when I bought mine, the spindles on these were three quarter. Uh, they did not offer them 20 millimeter. So I went direct to Armor and they offer 20 millimeter shafts. I just ordered a, a set of those and they screw right on. And of course they work now with my 20 millimeter holes. I did play with them for a month or two with the three quarter and they worked okay. But I found that after I got the 20 millimeter, they were a lot easier to use and held a lot better. If you've got a clamp of board down, you just drop it in and drop it down. If, if I had a thicker board, I'd hold it up more, but you just drop it down until, in this case, it's an 18 millimeter piece and just clamp it down and that's it. There's a little bit of adjustment to it. Um, they take a little experience to kind of figure out how they work because I, I have had, in the beginning anyway, I, a lot of times I just, I clamp them and then they wouldn't be holding it right. So somehow I'm doing it right now. I'm not sure what I'm doing different, but if you do get a set and you're finding they're not holding, it really is operator error because they are fantastic at holding. They do a really good job. And then if I have thicker material, I don't really have to make any adjustments to the clamp. Raise the clamp up a little higher, the shaft up a little higher. And maybe this is part of the learning curve is trying to figure out right kind of where to put it. And so I just sort of eyeball it. I know that when it's on the 18 mil, it works great just putting it right down to the bench. So I just have it about the same and, and have no issue. I can quickly uh, work with them and I hardly have to look anymore. So again, I've had them for a year, so I've used them a lot. And so I've, I've really gotten comfortable with them. To adjust the clamping force, how hard you push down on this handle to get it to lock, you uh, rotate the screw with a Phillips screwdriver in to reduce the clamping force, meaning when you clamp down, it will be uh, easier to clamp. And obviously you back it out to increase that clamping pressure. The hold down is also adjustable both uh, up and down. And that's it. They're pretty simple to use, easy to adjust, uh, easy to move around. They're really flexible. They cover a lot of my needs with the Polk Smart Bench. You know, 90% of the time I'm using my Festool clamps in these, which do what I need to do. But there have been occasions where these have worked better for me than these in certain applications. For me though, I really only need one set, whereas with the, my other clamps, 
I have a dozen. The other set is an inline clamp. This is the only set of inline clamps that I have. And this is a really handy clamp as well. Now it's designed to work with a three quarter bench dog hole or a 20 millimeter. It's got this wedge, this little plastic wedge, and there's a knob on the top. And as you draw that up, it just expands the, uh, uh, you know, the overall width of this so that it'll lock it into the slot. So it's pretty easy just to pick a hole, drop it in, and just tighten that up a little bit. I can either use two of them and clamp, you know, force from both sides, or what I do is I use bench dogs and, you know, really flexible. I could have a wide panel uh, and, and have it way over here. In this case, I have a narrow panel. And it's just a matter of just uh, putting it up to the material again a little trial and error to figure out the best way to use them. I found that if I push it up tight to it and, and uh, push it down, it tends to want to lift the material on this side, too much pressure on it. So I found that by just having it uh, spaced a little bit away from the material before I start, that was too much, that they hold really well. So with this, in this application, with having the clamp uh, in line below the surface, it's a lot easier for sanding if you've got this kind of clamp or the um, festool type clamps then you know you're you're holding it down from the top of your material and this will also do um, angled material and circular material it's got a little v-groove so if you're if you've got a circular tabletop and you want to um, clamp it down so that you can sand it or edge it or anything it, the, the height of this thing, when it's tight to the bench, is slightly above the 18 mil. So right if I were routing the edge, I, I couldn't do it in this area. I'd have to pop it loose and move it to finish that a little bit. I don't use the inline clamps very often. But when I have a need that they will fulfill, it's really the only clamp I have that'll do what they do. So I'm glad I have one set, and I think one set is all I'll need. I have both of these clamps and the 20 millimeter post in the Armor brand in Ron's store. So if you go to my website, which there's a link in the description of the video down below, you can go there and find them. And if you purchase them there, uh, Amazon will share a little bit with us. They won't charge you any extra and it does help support the channel, so I really appreciate it. I'll also put a direct link uh, to them in my store in the video down below so you don't have to go hunting around too much. If you enjoyed this tool review video and you'd like to see me make more, it'd really help if you hit that thumbs up button down below. It's really painless, it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps the YouTube algorithm serve up my videos to more and I can grow the Smart Woodshop family. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe. Now get out there and make some sawdust.